Hello and welcome. Here we are. We've got the karaoke machine unboxed. Now what? It comes with a little charger like this. And so we'll go ahead and plug that charger in and then charge this karaoke machine up. Well, we can see that's a power five volt. Let's take a look at that. Power five volt and a USB. We'll plug this into the power and we can see that a little light has come on. Let me see, hip was position the camera. Right here, red lights come on, so it's charging. So while it's charging, let's try and figure out what happens next. We've got a microphone volume here. We've got an echo here, bass, and treble setting here. And then down here on the front, we have a master control and some additional buttons to set. What we're going to do is try and figure out how do we use this. Here we've got two microphones that come with it. The battery is on the inside. Let's take a look at them quickly. Two double A's each. And then we turn them on and it pretty much connects automatically. Let's turn the power on. And you see, that's the echo from mic one, mic two. So now we have a loudspeaker. But how do we get music? Now this is the part that gets a little complicated because there are no real instructions with it that tell us how to get the karaoke component of it working. So what we do next is we go to some device that can pick up a karaoke station. In our case, we're using an iPad. So we'll switch over to the iPad next and take a look at how that operates. The very first thing we need to do is make sure the Bluetooth is turned on. And then when we go over and look at what we're connected to, and we'll see that the karaoke machine, which is JYX-S55 is there. So we hit that to connect it. Once we're connected there, we effectively have the loudspeaker function working where the mics will talk directly into the karaoke machine. What we now need is music. For our purposes, we're going to use YouTube as our source. Now here we are at the iPad screen and we'll go ahead and select the YouTube icon. When you select that YouTube icon, we're going to search for karaoke songs. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it comes up, we need to go ahead and search for karaoke songs with lyrics. There we go, and we see a selection of music. Each of these pieces of music includes the lyrics and the music. And if you played them now, it would play on your tablet or iPhone and also project into the karaoke machine which you connected to earlier. So the microphones would work and it could all work well. But if you wanted to have a larger group of people participate, you might want to project it to a monitor or to a TV. On the top right, Next to the three dots, you see a little box with waves. You can select that to connect to any device, any monitor or TV that will accept that connection. But let's go ahead and show you that on my channel so we're not breaking any YouTube terms and conditions. And here we are. This is my channel. You see that little box there on the top. And when you click that, it will bring up an option to connect to a TV that's available. Now let's look at it on another screen. Here we are, we've got something playing. It's another, another video from my channel. And in the video, you'll see that little box with these uh, waves showing. And once you hit that button in this situation, here's what you get to see. You get to select the device that you want to play to. And when you do that, your text will appear on the device. And if there's audio, the audio will appear that too. So once you're connected and you play a piece of music, from the karaoke selection. The TV will show the text, 
the TV audio uh, the TV audio will also play the karaoke machine will also play its music so you can balance music with two speakers now and the microphones will connect and play through the karaoke machine and so that's how we've been able to use this effectively without getting anything new i hope that helps thanks for watching